Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do the IP Insights algorithm. But before we do that, we need to download two data sets. Okay, go. This one, we're going to train the model on. I got to warn you, this will take up some disk space. And then we're going to test this whole data frame from last time, only on a, using a different model we trained. This one is 94% accurate. I could have gotten a little more accurate, but pushing the batch size would have tipped the scale. We'll get into that in a second. Okay, so you create your own bucket. And then you import this data. Always do error bad lines equals false. So it skips a bad line in case there is one. Sometimes there is, like there is in the other one. Okay, source IP and destination IP, just like in the other data frame. And then we're going to only narrow it down to these two for the whole data frame. Remember, this algorithm only does IP addresses specifically. So, and it measures the difference between them. This is unsupervised learning. Then we're going to make the training size 80%. Get image URI. IP insights. We're going to deploy at this in train at this instance. And then uh, content, we're going to put this in the bucket. Model that fit the train. And as you can see, it's 94% accurate. I could have gotten it more accurate if I increased the batch size maybe to 2,000. Kept the 30 epochs. Yeah. Okay, and then model deploy at this uh, small instance. Okay. Now, uh, the CSV serializer equals predictor.serializer. Remember to do that inference data and test from earlier and we're going to splice predict inference data splice though as you can see there's the distance between them most are benign and then there's the whole inference data test almost all of these are harmless any distance. Okay. Um, remember I told you error bad lines equals false? Look right here. Okay. So as you can see, remember earlier, source IP and destination IP, only their name different. Labeled different. We're going to do the same thing we did to the other data frame. And then test data is what we're going to name it. For data and data, DF, right here. Then we're going to splice test data, predictions, and then there they are. This is the whole dark net, if you can believe that. It's the whole dark net data frame. IP embedding, you see that? Dot okay. There we go, guys. There you have it. Although, um, I do recommend it would be better to uh, put these uh, in a data frame, you know, labeled dot product and I am. IP embedding, but this is just for fun. We don't really need to put it in a data frame and save to CSV. This is good enough. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you learned from this video. Next time we will do XGBoost for regression, not, not classification. We've already done that. I, I really got to get around to that. But I, I just had to improve this model to 94, at least 94% accuracy. 
I could have gotten it at 96 if I increased this batch size. But what I was worried about was it running out. The mini batch size 1800. I was worried if I made it 2000, I might be pushing it. And then the learning rate of 0 with 0, 01 is always the best. The entity vectors, leave that alone. Okay, guys, that's all. Thank you.